Greetings, Daniel Percetto for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended. And today we're going to talk about getting your Minecraft world into Photoshop. You will need to get this product called Mineways, which is easily found in Google. Just search Mineways, it'll pop up and you'll get this page here. You'll need that little application. So let's get started. So after downloading Mineways, you're going to get this you can open up the uh, folder and you're going to find the app and a few readmes here. And if you've upgraded to the latest version of Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion, it is no longer sent with X11. It's no longer installed. So you need to download XQuartz, which is a, works really well. It's the latest version here. You can download that, install that, and then you can get started. And hopefully you have Minecraft installed as well and you can use your own worlds. So let's jump back into Photoshop. Well, now that we've jumped back into Photoshop, we actually have to go and create a Minecraft world to bring in. So let's jump out of here and select the Mineways app. It's going to load. It's going to ask you where it can't find the world's directory. It never finds it. It's in your name, library, application support, Minecraft saves. So let's say OK to that. And we're going to go and run through this process very quick because there are two elements that you're going to have to know about. So we're going to go ahead and open this level. It's my default world for Minecraft and say, okay, this is my world. I'm just going to go ahead and select right click, right click, select part of the world. It's going to say some blocks in your selection are visible below the current lower depth of 62. Just say yes to that dialogue. I always say yes. Yes. So now it looks like we're ready to go, but we won't be because there'll be one little bit that we need to save here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, whoops, I'm going to say export, hit that wrong one, export for rendering. I'm going to select test world, test object, because there's one there already. I'm going to say save. I'm going to leave all these settings to their default. Say OK. It's going to complain about the terrain PNG. Now, in your Mineways folder, there is a terrain.png. I have simply copied it into a directory close to all these other files to make things quick. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Let's back up one. There's my terrain PNG. I'm going to say open that, please. Now we are ready to export. For rendering or export to OBJ basically is what this is doing. So back to test OBJ, I'm going to say save. I'm going to keep these default settings. You can even zip things up to contain all the files, but I'm going to leave them by the default settings. OK, and there you go. It's exporting, 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 and it should be in my test folder. Let's go find those files now. Great, found these files here. They're in that similar folder structure there. We're gonna drag this into Photoshop. Open, hopefully it won't take too long. Let's try five, four, three, two, one. Are we close? Yes, we are. And that is basically it. We've brought our Minecraft object into Photoshop. So we got the world from Minecraft. We exported it from Mineways as an OBJ, and we just brought it into Photoshop, and this is what we get. You can go ahead and start rendering it as it is and replacing, look at all the materials you have that you can replace. Um, but let's, it looks a little dark. And so I'm gonna show you really quick how to make a kind of simple light, and I'm gonna do that by grabbing my environment map in my 3D properties, in my 3D panel, and now in my 3D properties, I'm gonna say a new texture. I have a seven by seven. It could be 256, 512 pixels. It doesn't really matter. That's too bright. But let's go ahead. I'm going to say on my layers panel, I can double click it here, image base light. Grab my gradient radial fill here, and I'm going to select about the center and then just go to the edge. Save it and close it. That's my IBL map now. And you can see it's a really even light. I have one infinite light. And now let's go ahead and bring this a little bit closer, kind of far away there. Select the right tool, click on the camera, zoom in here, zoom in a little bit more, change the perspective a little bit, and let's just go ahead and move it up before we render it. There we go, and hit render. So there you go. There's Minecraft inside of Photoshop, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments here, and enjoy.